Nalwai Old Bridge sits on Nile Falls Dam, the oldest hydropower dam constructed by the British. It has been the only bridge that connects the neighboring countries like Kenya and Tanzania to Uganda's capital Kampala. The construction of the bridge started in 1940 and it was commissioned in 1954. But after it had lived about 50 years, that is its lifespan, the technical team from UNRWA and also Ministry of Works found out that the bridge was slowly giving way due to neglect and high traffic volumes. So by restoring the cross-section area of the, of the, of the piers, we restored the, the load-bearing capacity of the piers and protected them from imminent failure. Luimbaz is evidently pleased with his work. He says he expects the bridge will have a lifespan of 120 years, if well maintained. He explained that they developed the design so it would meet the Japanese financing conditions. We have an airport in Jinja. There are restrictions, the aviation limits on how high a structure can be. So the, the height of the pylons had to be limited. Okay? Then the other issue were environmental considerations. Okay? The water quality could not be contaminated by the construction activities. As opposed to setting up a singular structure, Luimbas explained that they opted for a cantilever construction where the parts of the bridge are joined to make the entire structure. In 2009, that's when we commissioned a Japanese consultant who now undertook the design under our guidance. He adds that the bridge is suspended by pylons rooted in the rock underneath. The piles are about 25 to 30 meters deep and they have to be driven and they sit into sound rock. Okay? You have to socket them into the rock to make sure that they are anchored and in case there is any seismic force, there is some protection about seismic, any seismic activity. Each cable is embedded with sensors that send signals to determine the state of the structure. Monitoring the deflection in the, on the deck anytime. Should the permissible limits be exceeded, uh, red flags will be sent to the control room. However, in addressing fears by some about the structure, UNRWA resident engineer said there is no need for fear. Uh, each of these contain, between, contain, number, contain about uh, 69 to 80 number of cables, and each cable can pull about a 50 ton truck. So if you have about 80 pieces of, cab 80 pieces of cable, that means we are designing for about uh, 4,000 tons within this small loading zone. The bridge is under 24-hour surveillance. Many people are already celebrating the new achievement and milestone the government has made. This new cable bridge, according to its design, is supposed to last 62 years, but its lifespan will entirely depend on the relevant authorities, that is UNRWA and Minister of Works, who will be in charge of maintenance. Sudil Viarhanga, NTV, Ginger.